Why aren't you dead? <sighs> Why? Why are you wearing the stupid spy suit? Fuck you. Why isn't he dead? Read the line. I don't want it. Let's not dwell on oh, this. It was surprisingly easy to break in. Welcome to Sing Party Extreme Revolution Ultra Disco Fever Insanity. Select the number of players to begin. I've got three mix right here. Let's plug them in and do this. Now we're really going to know who the best previously male but currently female singer is. <laughs> You're going down, man. Wait, singing? I don't know how to sing. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> what, what do you mean? You're part it of was a joke. Dad, you're part of Elmitless. We've seen you sing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, start the game, you fucking nine piece of shit. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, appreciate this music. All of a sudden, music started blasting from the speakers, and flashy animations whirred across the screen. The two idol girls instantly broke into, strong, into the song, and they were both Too singing at, at a ridiculously ridi rapid pace. I can't read. You ain't gonna win if you ain't gonna sing, Dan. <laughs> this match is ours. This is so confusing. There was a reason why I wasn't allowed to play video games whenever I went to a party with Nadine, and that was because I was one hell of a sore loser. Even though I didn't know how this game worked, I wasn't gonna stand by idly while these girls whomped me. They were going down. What the hell is up with this game? I can't sing these lyrics, they're moving too fast across the screen. By the time I read them, they've disappeared. But this is your song, Dan. You literally wrote it. Ha, this is too easy. Vixen really is. Re Vixen really are better singers than Limitless. I knew it. Soon we shall be the greatest girl band there is. And you'll be sitting there eating our dust. <laughs> but I don't want to lose. Screw it. I'm just going to sing in the hot, sing in the highest pitch voice I can and ma can manage. It doesn't matter if it doesn't earn my points. If I don't know what will. Kia! Ah. ah. My ears make her stop. Kia! How is this happening? No one should be able to sing in this highest pitch. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> impossible. Oh my god, she's... <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, a, ma a massive crack formed in the center of the TV, and thick black smoke started pouring out of the back of it. The music and video cut out instantly, and the three of us were left standing there looking dumbstruck. Oh crap, did I shatter the TV? What? Heh, <laughs> whoops. What? <laughs> yeah, I guess you're a really good singer after all. I, 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 I guess. <laughs> Got him. No comment. What? What's going on here? There's smoke everywhere. Doobies. <laughs> Dan broke the TV. Fire him. Yeah, it was Dan's fault. Fire him. Hey, this was all your idea to begin with. Don't blame me. Wow, you really did a number on this thing. I'm gonna have to throw this TV out. But I'll see if I can find a spare monitor in one of the tour buses. The sirens the point sirens mermaids point. are... Pl oh, is that... Yeah, because... No, okay. because I'm girl. And girl. Yeah. The Sirens Point mermaids are playing at the Axon, are playing the Axon City armadillos. And there's no way I'm missing the game tonight. Hold tight, I'll get this fixed in a few minutes. <laughs> if we I, I were in Axon gotta... City, would we have a bunch of armadillo statues? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess I got a bit carried away. What, do we have a new transformation? I never knew Dan had such a high-pitched voice. Hmm. Do we have a new transformation? Back to normal. Well, let's see. <laughs> no, I still only got Dan. Hmm. I guess, um, 
guess the only idea would be to uh, go to security and just scream at him. <laughs> or we could go to our room and scream in our room. Go in our room. Let's see. Scream at the girl oh, with the bra. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's, she still needs just help with her bra, I guess. I guess we gotta scream at the dude. We're like trapped here. Oh, he's oh he's busy fixing the TV. Aha. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit too easy. Yep, this is the place. Ah. Okay, time to have a look at this bad boy. Chamber was set up in the center of the room, but aside from some modifications and a new interior, it looks exactly the same as it used to. It's the Gick Mark II. With Kaz, Tyler, and Travis. filled with green slime attached to the chamber. The chamber had always been powered by the strange transformation fluid, so I guess this was just a newer version of that. This was more Nadine's field of expertise. I hadn't been involved with a setup or anything, however, I did know that all transformations were logs in a mainframe, and that was what I was after. Let's have a look at all the access logs on the console here. So, this first set of logs corresponds to our initial setup of the chamber. These newest ones are Jane and the rest of the Max Heart using the chamber. What's with these logs in the middle? Looks like a user named D Kitty modified our initial design design of the pop stars we proposed to Max Heart Studios and tweaked the chambers so they had bigger breasts. I wonder who that is. Wait, I know who that is. That's Dinah Kitty, the insane cat girl scientist who resigned a few months ago. She's been tampering with this machine. If she's involved, that may mean Max Heart Studios, Boxers, and D and L Industries are working together. It makes sense that Boxers is working with Dino. They'd need someone with technical know-how to make any progress interpreting our stolen data, but Dino is the one who created it to begin with. Could Dino and her cronies be conspiring with Boxers to take revenge against us here for mass marketing their research data? She was really upset when we hired a new supervisor to keep an eye on them, and that was their reason for quitting. I think I might have to do some investigating of Dinah, and see how she's connected with this whole mess. Out? Who goes there? Ah, You violated fuck. the law. Uh... It's just me, Dan. You're not Dan. Y yeah I'm, I'm right here. Stop shape-shifting into me, Dino. That's not funny. Wait, I just saw Dino on the normal northern perimeter. The security team is de is dealing with her right now. There's no way you could be in two places at once. Ah, has Dino figured out a way to clone herself? Are we dealing with two Dinas now? What? No! <laughs> they don't pay me enough for this. But wait, if there's two Dinas, then what's stopping there from being more? Glooping there could be around. 50 Dinas glooping around right now. <laughs> Tell me this is a nightmare. One Dinah is enough as it is, but 50? I, I can't deal with this, Fred. I can't deal with this. <laughs> Dinah, Neither you're such I. an asshole. We're doomed. <laughs> ah! <laughs> everyone panicking. I was able to escape the ensuing chaos. I had what I needed, and there was no reason to hang around here any longer. Dude. I managed to get out of there. <laughs> Got a little bit hairy towards the end there, but mission accomplished. Ahem. Ah! <laughs> Where have you been all night, huh? Uh... Weren't at work all afternoon, and nobody knew where you were. Now you waltz in at 10.30 as if nothing happened. What were you up to? Just transform into her. You've got some Just fucking tra explaining to do right Just now. Just transform into her. Um, I was looking into some stuff for work, but I had to leave the office. Fucking stop. I mean, what kind of work? Uh. Uh. Should we really be talking about work right now? Yo, dude, that's cheap. That's the cheap, cheap tactic. No cheap tactic. No foul play. Don't try to change the subject by trans, by shape shifting into me. Ah. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> hey, I never said I didn't say stop. I didn't say stop. Go back. You really like looking at yourself in the nude, don't you? That's besides the point. Where were you all night? 
or afternoon into night. I guess there's no point hiding things from you anymore. Promise you won't get mad? No. I guess I'll tell you anyway. See, that's okay, so a couple days ago, I was investigating some stolen data. Dan's program detected our data being accessed at Boxer's offices, so I went there at night and had a look around. Unfortunately, it was a trap, and Boxer's director unleashed a transforming gas to try to turn me into a big-breasted bimbo. He did what? It's okay, their plan backfired. I've tested so many transformation serums that I was completely immune, and the gas interacts with my genome in such a way that I gain the ability to shapeshift in anyone I touch. R really? What? <gasps> He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> ah. That's insanium in the cranium. Yep, boxes accidentally created their worst enemy. I'm going to murder that bastard. Not if I get to him first, honey. Plus, I totally broke into their offices. I'm the wrong here, too. Damn it, that's a good point. I wish you told me about this earlier. I knew those boxer bastards were being way too too quiet recent. Wow, what alliteration. Don't worry, I've got the whole situation under control. Trust me on this one. I'll have it sorted in a few days. You sure? Yeah, I'm super sure. I'm not happy about this. I might place a few phone calls and see if I can find out what Boxers is up to on my end. At the very least... At the very least... At the very least? <laughs> Sorry, I was, like, reading four words ahead, apparently. At the very least. At the very least, I'll have the research team have a look at you and see if we can figure out how this shape-shifting works. You mean the research team? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm fine. Wait, yeah, okay, that is me. God, I thought that was going to be that you for you. a second. No, I see you. Okay, I'm fine with you investigating, but let me know what you're up to, okay? I know you can take care of yourself, but I need you to stay safe. How else am I going to look at myself? It's not like there's... Don't worry. <laughs> Everything is under control. <laughs> so want to watch a movie? How else am I going to look at myself naked if you're not yeah, around? So we don't have mirrors. <laughs> mirrors aren't real. Sure, you can fill me in on a few details while we watch it. There's still a few things that are bugging me. Like why you're not me right now. I told I spent you. spent the rest of the me. evening talking to Nadine. She wasn't pleased about the whole situation, but she understood where I was coming from. <clears throat> this wasn't the first time Box had threatened our livelihood, and it was go but it was going to be the last. After talking and formulating plans all night, the two of us finally went to bed. Ellipses. Ellipses. My Ellipses. Is, man, it's it's been a while since we actually had like transition it's been a ellipses. While since we've seen some good ellipses. It's the start of a new day. Also time for me to begin the next phase of my investigation. So it looks like DNL Industries, the company started by some former employees, has been colluding with boxers in some way. I don't know what they're up to, so I need to find their lab and have a look at their research files. However, their research location isn't publicly known, and I've got no clue where to start. For this mission, I'm going to need several things. First and foremost, I need to find out where the research lab is. It's probably in an office building somewhere downtown, so that should be too difficult to find. Boxers got Secondly, like... Secondly, I'm got... going to need to equip... I've got, I've got a conspiracy theory to share. Yeah? Boxers got literally, like, just decimated by Dinah just, like, the following week, and Dinah decided, I'm going to mess with Russell now. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what that sounds. Sounds pretty realistic. <laughs> That's definitely what happened. Secondly, I'm going to need to acquire forms of at least one DNL industry employee. Dino and Lynn are always causing chaos around town, so it won't take me long to track them down. Could start by scouring for clues across town, but my best place to start is to check out our old research lab at the university. Dino and Lynn used to work there, so there might be some clues there. Okay, Russell, let's do this. <laughs> Shape shifted to dad and go to the research. <laughs> Anytime we have the opportunity. Okay, Just, I'm wearing a no. I'm wearing a silly ribbon outfit. <laughs> Anytime we have the ability where we don't think we need anyone, let's just be Dan. Is this a yeah? Access the university, and there's this stupid fucking mermaid fountain. Damn it! <clears throat> I just remember when you need to shift back. We put a DNA scan on the door to stack intruders. I should shift back so I don't set off the alarm. Now, where was that path to the lab? Yelchan? No, no Yelchan. 
It just Hello? literally stopped us because we're dumb. Nope, nobody's here. It looks like I've got the place to myself. Where Let's go to the pool. <laughs> to the pool. Where's this door lead to? I don't remember being here when I visited the lab. Maybe it's a cleaning closet or something. What the fuck? <laughs> There's an indoor pool in here. Who the hell built this? It must have cost a fortune. I don't remember ever proving anything of this scale. Why do you need a swing pool in a research laboratory? Maybe it's a good thing those lunatics quit. We'd just be hemorrhaging money if they were still around. Heck, I bet they only use this pool once. I don't really have any reason for being here right now, so I guess I'll just leave. That being said, Nadine and I are up, to some, are up for some alone time together. I know a private heated pool being some, some quality time. Actually, I think we should come back here later tonight and get it on. <laughs> Let's go to dance room. Dance room. This computer room seems like a good place to start. I wonder if my old login works. Bingo! Bringo Brongo. Let's see what I can find here. Most of the information on the computer was poorly documented research notes on all sorts of things related to, related to all things transformation related. That was a weird They're sign. written in such a frantic way that it'd take a lunatic to understand them, but this wasn't what I was here for. Despite there being a wealth of information on transformation research that we already had a copy of back in the office, there wasn't anything related to where Dino and Lynn might be working now. I guess I'll have to research somewhere else. Ah, oh, sad. What was oh, with that right. weird double transition? I don't know. The office is probably a good place to start. Let's check it out. They left their computers here. So what oh. am I looking for? There's some weird picture of a girl on a beach and some computers that probably haven't turned <laughs> okay, on. Okay, so that was that's actually good job, Russell. Wait, is that a calendar? It's a long shot, but maybe I can find something useful. There we go. Today's date has been circled. And someone's written Splashdown Mountain Day in big red letters underneath. I guess I must have been planning a day off before they quit here. How convenient. Almost a little bit too convenient. Well, at least I know where to look for them now. Splashdown Mountain, here I come. God fucking damn it, we did it. Do, 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 do. Let's go to Splashdown Mountain. Splashdown Mountain. This place looks pretty fun. I should bring Nadine here sometime. Although some of the rides look a bit outdated. This place could definitely do with an overhaul. Oi! Hold it right there. Not you two again. This is Splashdown Mountain. A place for natural, for nautical themed frivol, frivolity, frivolity and watery fun. You can't walk around here without a swimsuit. We sell bark shorts at the gift shop, so just grab some there. We can't let you in the park otherwise. Didn't you two work at Boxer's Clothing before? We work two jobs. Blame the economy. Well, you got me there. <laughs> hey, Ruth. Yeah? This guy is making my sciency gizmo arm thing go all haywire. Just like that bunny girl who came in the store before. There's something weird about this guy. I can hear you. Stay on the safe side. I'm just going to blast him with my super awesome green wrist laser, okay? Don't shoot him. We're trying to stay undercover here. You use that thing in public or you'll blow our cover. Just look at him, Ruth. He's positively screaming, I'm a weird looking guy. Please shoot me with a science laser. Again, I can hear you. Calm down, Mercy. Pretty much every single person in this town gives off weird readings. Siren's Point is absolutely mental for some reason. Don't blow your cover over a false alarm. They, they, need, to, they need to fix the gender bending, but they can't. Not because... without board shorts. Fine, I'll buy some fucking board shorts. Are you happy now? I'd be more happy if I was allowed to shoot you. You fucking lunatic, stop it. I'm the blonde here. You're supposed to be smarter. You have glasses. The gift shop was overpriced and had a really limited range, so I just grabbed a pair of board shorts in the right size and paid for it with my credit card. 
I made a mental note to never show up here without a swimsuit again, though, because these gift shops were an absolute ripoff. They really made you pay through the nose for crappy board shorts I could have bought a third pr for a third of the price anywhere else. Ah oh, well, it was all worth it for the sake of the mission. Where are we going? Dino? Lynn? Let's go slide. to the slide first. Are we gonna go on the slide? That water slide looks like fun. And it's not like I have to be working all the time. I can spend a bit of time goofing off. Woo! Splashdown Mountain! Ugh, so many stairs. I have to climb- why do I have to climb so high to get on this water slide? You think they just install an elevator or something? This is just ridiculous. Are you okay? I'm fine. You look pretty exhausted. Don't judge my lack of fitness, I'm fine. If you say so. Ugh, so many steps. This was a bad idea. Eventually I got to the top of the water slide, but I was so tired from ascending all the steps that I barely enjoyed it. I'm never doing that again. Water slides are stupid. I need to lie down. What a fucking fatty. You just lied down. Let's go to Dinah. Makes absolutely no sense though. Dude, these two are just like way too like rounded in reality. While yeah. at the same time not. Yeah, it's a little strange. Don't get me started. Don't get me farted. 